Redis, the benchmark of blazingly fast databases. It's extremely popular, features rock solid stability, and can fulfill queries in nanoseconds. But what contributes to this? In this video, we'll discuss the reasons why Redis is so beloved, so stable, and so fast. The primary reason Redis is so fast is due to the fact that it stores its entire dataset in RAM. RAM access is much faster than disk access by several orders of magnitude. Where RAM access can take about 150 nanoseconds, disk access can take up to 300 microseconds. With one microsecond being a thousand nanoseconds, you start to see just how speedy Redis can be. But one caveat is while Redis can put disk bound databases to shame in terms of retrieval time, Redis's storage capacity has a hard limit based on available system memory. Your entire dataset cannot be larger than available RAM or things quickly start to fall apart. Another factor that keeps Redis so competitive is how simple it is. The code is straightforward and it requires far less overhead. This contributes to its legendary stability. See, while other databases have to retrieve data from disk to fulfill queries and may multi-thread a single instance, Redis already has the dataset in memory and it's a single-threaded application. So how is it that a single-threaded app like Redis is capable of beating out its multi-threaded competition? Well, it's simple. There's no code to account for potential race conditions or locking or unlocking assets, and that's huge. See, apps that have implemented a multi-threaded code base are far more likely to have bugs and sacrifice stability because of it. But there's another trick up Redis's sleeve too. On Linux systems, a developer can multiplex IO operations using ePoll system call. Multiplexing is a technique that allows for the combining or bundling of a signal through a shared medium. This allows an application to multiplex thousands of concurrent connections in a single thread. And while there's a theoretical limit to the number of connections that can be handled by a single instance of Redis, this can be mitigated by running multiple instances on the same server. But Redis is not just a database. It can act as a cache, a data stream, or a pub sub mechanism. It works with transactions, it can execute Lua code in database queries, and it can accommodate the particular demands of the enterprise environment. There are tons of unique ways businesses can leverage the power and reliability of Redis. For example, Twitter relies on Redis to serve 300,000 tweets per second by using it as both a write path and a read path. GitHub implements Redis as a persistent key value store for routing incoming requests. There are many more examples too, from Snapchat to Craigslist and Stack Overflow. They all use Redis to meet their customers' demands. So are you ready to deploy your own cloud-based Redis instance? We've got you covered with our one-click Redis application. Use the links below to get you started. That's it for today's video. Make sure that you get subscribed to stay tuned for more videos on how you can best set up your architecture for your business or application. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.